Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel where we talk about stuff. Today we're going to be talking about a very weird video that I saw online. It's called why you should be buying everything with credit cards. Everything in this video is my own personal opinion. However, I'm going to basically let you know everything that's actually going on. Uh, worldwide industries right now are currently collapsing. Uh, banks are not doing well. I'm pretty sure you've seen that in the news. Uh, one of the ways that companies uh, make sure that they control you and or basically have you as a customer forever is actually through the issuance of debt. A lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't usually pay attention to it because more or less we've been the conditioned our entire lives to basically think this way. The video, for those of you who have not seen it, why you should buy everything with credit cards, is basically a video about the benefits of buying things with credit cards and why you should be doing it at all times. With Some of the things that they talk about are, well, you get reward points, you're able to actually take more flights if you've gotten yourself in debt and you have to remember to make sure to actually pay off that debt to be able to get the, the benefits of it, but don't worry, you'll do just fine. This is one of the main things about credit card companies that they've told us the entirety of our lives. However, they know that. They know that. This is not a secret. Uh, the majority of people do not actually pay off their credit card debt and or they pay off such a tiny portion that the rest of it basically continues to accumulate and follows them over the course of the rest of their lives. When I saw this video, I knew immediately what it was and what it was for. I personally believe in my corner of the world, this video was made and was created because banks are going through such a difficult time right now, as are many other industries, that they're trying to figure out a way to basically reel people in to get you to believe that the only way to get forward in life, especially financially, is through debt. I've seen a number, a number of other financial YouTubers out there, will not name any names, who have told other people many times, the easiest way to get forward is through with debt. Make sure you have a 30 to 40 year mortgage. It's the best thing in the entire world. I have 15 credit cards and I pay attention to all of them. There's, there's one really weird video where this guy was talking about he has 20 credit cards and he uh, mathematically goes through them every single day to make sure where his benefits are and he's done extremely well and I'm like, yeah, try and tell that to a normal family and give them 20 credit cards and see exactly how things uh, immediately begin to spiral out of control. You are not meant to live with debt. The idea makes no sense, especially in the world that we are currently living in. The idea of debt is once again a form of control. They want you to live under their system forever. The idea goes, would you rather pay 300,000 for this right now or would you rather pay me 500 per month? You're going to go 500. However, over the course of the 500, there's also interest rates on top of it. And at some point you'll go, you know, buying something for 500 per month actually isn't that bad and you begin to buy every other thing like this as well. You may not have realized it, but instead of you not being able to make that one big purchase at once during that time, you now are also buying other things at the exact same sequence basically over the course of the next 30 years. You are in debt for 30 to 40 years to that one company. Do you wonder why or how these companies keep making record profits every single year and how they continuously do well financially? Well, it's because they can show that their 300,000 customers constantly have to pay them their money every single month. In many countries, your wages are, what was it called, garnished, where basically they are legally able to take the money out of your paycheck to make sure that they continuously get paid over the course of the next 30 years. You are under control from them. Basically forever, because many people tend to get into crazy form of debt like that by the time they're in their mid-20s, which is terrible, and or their 30s and 40s. So by the time you're in your 60s and 70s, you are still under their control. Part of the problem is, is that we are conditioned to think like this. We are conditioned to believe that we need to get into massive forms of debt in order to have nice things, to show other people that we have nice things. You've heard of the term before, it's called uh, keeping up with the Joneses. I heard this as a kid so many times and now as an adult, I definitely understand it. You see other people with nice things. I know a lot of people who have extremely nice things and I go, wow, your house is so big. 
Wow, you have so many cars. You're going on another vacation? That's absolutely insane. But once you actually get to know these people and you hear what's going on in their lives, they're buying it all with credit cards and they are living. You've heard of people, you've heard of it before. People who make 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 per year and they, they claim and or say that they're living paycheck to paycheck. How could that be possible? Well, having all the extra money, they figured out a way to basically extend their finances by doing these monthly payments from other different companies. You may have seen, uh, we now have an explosion in uh, buy now, pay later companies that have sprouted up mainly within the last two years. That is not a coincidence. They realize that profits would be falling from the immediate purchases. Well, how do you reel people in who are struggling financially? You tell them, it's cool. You want the new TV to make you and your family happy? Buy it through us, you buy it now, we'll just ship it right to you. You can just pay for it later. Pay for it later sounds really cool. As an 18 year old, I remember the idea of getting a credit card sounded absolutely incredible because when you see it in the movies and you see it on TV, there's no money being passed back and forth. So you assume it's a card that you simply tap or you swipe, you got what you wanted. The government and the bank is helping you to buy these nice, amazing things, but you never see the after uh, in the movie where they get the gigantic bill that they owe several thousand dollars that they themselves cannot pay back because they can barely afford their rent and or food now because inflation is so high. Crazy, right? The point of debt, Especially, and I, and I don't even want to say especially just within America, but America has one of the worst systems when it comes to debt because theirs is more insidious. They make sure, I grew up in the States. They make sure that from a young age, you are conditioned to believe that the only way you can become successful is by going to, say it with me, to college, you have to go to college. There's no other way around it. I still remember, uh, for those of you who don't know, I went to university for a number, I think two years in France. Did not care for it, I dropped out. The usual story, it, it, it literally was not for me. However, before this, I remember uh, telling my teachers that I did not plan on going to school. You would not believe how many of them uh, laughed at me. My teachers laughed in my face and I told them I didn't want to get into such deep debt like that. Back then, school was roughly around 20, 20 or so thousand per year. That's why I went to school in France where it's free. Yeah, for those of you who didn't know that, you basically just have to know French. And then school is free, you can look it up. Same exact thing in Germany and many other places around the world. So the idea is that from a young age, you're taught by TV, by movies. And I wanna say also by your parents because your parents consume the exact same content uh, to get into debt, to have credit cards, to make sure you go to a nice university and afterwards you're gonna to have to pay back 120,000, but it's gonna be worth it because you'll be making so much money from working the three jobs and one of them is also you being on a bike delivering food that it'll totally be okay. This is part of the problem. However, I think that people have wised up a tiny bit over the course of the last couple of years and I think we now have, and I don't wanna say a revolution, it's not even close to that, but I think a lot of people are more concerned with their finances, with learning how money works, with learning how finances work, and also just simply finding other ways to make money as opposed to actually finding themselves in an enormous amount of debt. And when you see people becoming more money cautious, or concerned about their finances, especially over the course of the last two years, and your job is to make sure as a company or a bank that these people get into debt so that you have their money over the course of the next 30 years, what do you do? You make sure that people know that they should be buying everything with credit cards. Can you imagine, like, think of that. Think of the audacity of making a video called, you should be buying everything with credit cards. Why can't I just buy it with the money that I have? Why if I want something, why can't I buy it in three months when I actually have the money? Why do I need at this moment to purchase everything that I'm going to be buying with a credit card because I want extra miles when I'm, when I'm flying for a really expensive cramped flight? That doesn't make a lot of sense, but it does to companies like that. We are currently in the middle of what I like to call a, a tug of war within the financial world. Um, I think that banks understand that the ride is almost over for them. And I don't say that in, in terms of a, 
uh, cryptocurrency space is going to take over uh, kind of thing. It's more of a, the world is shifting and people I think are very tired. They're, I think the, the levels of debt around the world, like personal debt, not even governmental debt, are in the trillions of dollars. And at some point there is a, a snap, people do break because no one wants to pay all that money back anymore. Uh, so this is where I think we, where we currently are. I've even noticed when it comes to even like uh, uh, financial channels or the views that I'm getting on this channel, I see them going up because I think more people are coming to terms with the fact that they don't want to be in debt for the rest of their lives. They want to make sure that they have money to be able to retire. If you've never looked into the uh, retirement crisis or the working crisis or the gig economy crisis, uh, many people between the ages of 20 and their 40s and also in their low 50s now are working multiple jobs or cannot find jobs. And uh, once again, the audacity of telling these people, you know, life isn't good because we destroyed the system. Why not go get a credit card to make sure that it's even worse for you? Yeah. Just a friendly reminder that you do not have to get into debt to be happy and you don't have to buy everything that you see. Uh, because you need money to invest and for your future. I don't know how else to really put that. I do hope that you've all enjoyed. Do hope you all are having a great day, morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, wherever you might be. Do hope it's absolutely fantastic. Thank you all once again for watching, listening, liking, commenting, and or supporting, and I will most certainly be talking to you all soon. See you.